All right. Well, I love this place because they have the date on there. Today is December 15, 2023. I am at the Stellar Cellar, one of my all-time favorite places. They let me film. They're super nice. They're super knowledgeable. And they always have at least uh, a few things that are super cool. So we'll kind of go through here. I am going to go up and down as opposed to uh, my normal uh, all the way across, just just to be different. Uh, someone was kind of griping because I kind of slid past the uh, the new riff. I've only had a sample of one. I think I need to have more before I make an educated guess on, on whether I like it or not. So still haven't had any of these. Uh, pretty much the only thing we get around here is the port barrel and the small batch. It's like they got plenty of the buffalo trace. I know some people have a, a tough time on that. It doesn't look like there is a limit on those, so don't don't quote me on that. And there's bullet. Heard a lot of people talking about that I should get the uh, maker's mark. Um, I think this is the one that they're wanting, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I, I don't have a lot of experience. I think I've had it in a bar once, maybe, maybe twice. Uh, we got a little bit of that. Hey, look, they got a little stag here. And they got the benchmark. I'll start at the bottom when I'm bending over here. Uh, got the old granddad bonded. I will be getting some old granddad 114 in about a week. I go on vacation next Friday. We're going down south to the beach and um, and spend down there at Destin. And I, the way I hear it, old granddad, they give it away uh, at grocery stores. So I'll get that. So they got some great store picks here. Looks like there is, uh, they're from Starlight. You know, that chicken, you know what? Got some mictors. Got a little bit of different stuff over here. I got the 13th colonies. It's not the double oaked. Right, we got Elijah Craig. Got the long branch. Got the wild turkey. Got the gentleman jack. Looks like that's batch number two of whatever that is. That's kind of cool. So, yeah, I'll probably come back to Knob Creek. We'll talk about that. Of course, we know. Why they need a belt, a metal belt like that, like a hard belt to keep their label on it. I, mean, I have no idea. We got Kentucky. We got the Nulu and the Blue Run, which I've not had any of that. We got the Woodford Reserve. We got the Bardstown Fusion. We got the Angels Envy. We got the Little Jane. I, I don't know anything about this Wolves. I like the just the simplicity of it. So anybody had this Wolves? And uh, there's a Rowan Creek. Oh, look, there's some old Kirk. No, you know I can't go past it. Gross, gross, gross. I don't know why. I, the only reason it's on the top shelf and not on the bottom is because uh, they uh, it won't fit. So I get a lot of hate from this, but everything I've been told, old Kirk is uh, Willet Purple Top. You, you know, you tell me, am I wrong? But I've been in multiple stores and multiple people have told me so that. All right, let's see. We got the barrel proof. Looks like they got 130. That's a that's a good one. Not as high as I've seen, but it's up there. All right, they got a good selection. Of, I thought they might have a store pick here of the four roses. There's this. All right, so of the small batch select, which that's closer to my price range. There's the small batch. There is the bourbon and the single barrel. I think the single barrel. So which one of those, which one of these should I be getting? Or just the regular Four Roses. You just tell me. I'll, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to get a Four Roses. That's my probably my next purchase. I need one of you guys to tell me what, what I need to do on that. Now this is interesting. Um, that's Kings County Distillery. Made from peated malt. Hmm. That's, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Or never noticed it before at least. So anybody have any thoughts on that? One Balconies. Got some Brothers Run. There's my daddy's drink. Probably gonna drink a little bit of that this weekend. I was thinking about him the other day and uh, a lot of people brought up a lot of memories and I haven't had a pour with him in a while. I wonder if my buddy at Whiskey Wisdom, Matt, has tried any of the Sudden Wisdom. Seemed like a bottle he should home. Um, and I've seen a lot of people talking about this uh, old overhaul. It's just kind of been I don't know, just uh, just like five or six videos have been done on this. So, born in PA, made in Kentucky. That's interesting. All right, we got the bottled and bond, the cast, the rye, 
I get a lot of hate because I haven't bought any of those yet, but you know I'm cheap. I should actually say my wife is cheap, but or frugal. I'll say frugal. I did. My wife is not cheap. Uh, I feel bad. She's frugal. She keeps us. Uh, she keeps the lights on. All right. I've got this bottled in bond. And I've got some of these. I've got a store pick, and I think I know somebody who's looking for some one of those. I'll be picking that up today. I will actually buy something today. Uh, get that as a gift to a friend of mine. There's Jacob's Pardon, the Whistle Pig, Goodwood, Calamut. There's some 2XO. Uh, it's actually one of three places I know that I've seen the, the 2XO. All right, now I'll get into the Irish whiskeys. Let's see, we got quite a few things up there. You know, I. I really need to, I really need to, uh, I like the bottle on that, I don't want to turn it too much, or uh, the moth bottle, the cups, I really want to do a better job of uh, uh, getting something besides the just cinnamon brown sugar and need to get me a couple of good Irish whiskeys in case I get a good Irishman to come over and, and see me, or Irish, well, uh, yeah, there's more of that uh, cheese sauce, the big orange cheese sauce down there at the bottom, I got the stuff from the Isle of Canadian. Except for Canadian Chris, and then it says it says Canadian up there, but I'm pretty sure this is all from uh, Asia, <laughs> Japan. Uh, uh, gin, oh, gross, not as gross as well. I don't know. It's right there, Willow Pot Steel. Anybody had any of these? I'm curious about what they thought. What they thought about these? Uh, this odd, you know, is it just more like a Scotch or or what is it? So, all right, I'm gonna gotta. Go over here and do like a middle shelf of the tequila. Not do a whole bunch of it. I feel like this is should be good a good tequila. Whoa, that shelf it moved way too much for me. That's all right. I'm not messing with that. Uh, this seems like it's a bottle that's got a curse on it to keep keep you from opening it. All right. I haven't seen any more of that tequila with the the head of it that has the skull. I thought that was pretty funny. Right, well, let's go look at some of the stuff that I really like. I kind of wondered if uh, Malort was going to be over here in this uh, and kind of in this section, in the vermouth and whatnot. Uh, no, no, I'm not seeing any. I thought that would have been funny. I would pick up some Malort, drink some of that. I don't hate it. Lager bowling, great stuff. Once again, you're thinking about getting into scotch. The Jura 12 is fantastic. Love my Sherry Cast McAllen. Uh, I'm probably in February. I've got a friend who's actually going to India. He's in India right now. If he doesn't bring me back a bottle of Indian um, Indian single malt or an Indian uh, whiskey, I'm going to buy one of these. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this one, but I think I, think I can get that one. This is in the range that uh, the wife allows it sort of the CFO uh, says no I do want to talk about uh, that I had the Cooper's craft yesterday and uh, or last night and I really enjoyed it I got like a faint hint of banana I was worried at first thinking it might be that but no the banana was uh, pleasant it wasn't Jack Daniels uh, smash you in the face banana but all right let's see let's see the clouds and black bottle all right well let's go up front and see the really cool stuff that they have because they do have something that's cool up there that I think that everyone will enjoy. I do want to say, oh, somebody's. Oh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. They're over here talking about something cool. I'm gonna go here. Nobody wants to be on camera. I love watching people dive into the, dive into the things. Oh, I do this, this box. I do love this bottle. Oh, that's great. Limited edition. All right. Well, let's go look at their cool stuff. All right, well, they have the Old Fitz 8. Man, I love this bottle. I've got the 10 at the house, and it's fantastic. Now, I had some trouble getting the cork back in. I'm, I'm, I'm worried that the cork's going to dry out, but this bottle is good and heavy. And they got the Old Dickel 17, and they've got this Michter's Rye, Michter's 10. So, if you're looking for either one of these, they most certainly have it here. I'm going to go over here real quick. And uh, they have another little bit of a specialty section here. Make sure there's not anything in there that we can't, that, that I didn't miss. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera around a little bit. Uh, I will kind of pan up here and kind of show you, 
you can pause it and see the cameras. I do. Uh, if you guys think about it, I'd, I'd love if you liked and subscribed to the channel. Um, hitting those thumbs up really helps, and just subscribe. And, and YouTube really likes it when you share. So if you share my video, if you're in any of your local bourbon groups and you can put it up there, that would be great and super helpful. All right, guys. Well, uh, I got the Jack Daniels up there. Uh, thanks, and uh, just thank you so much. I'm about to cross 25, get into uh, 2,500, and I didn't think I was going to be able to do it this year, or much less uh, right before Christmas. It's going to be a great pre-Christmas gift. Thanks, guys.